Hey, what's up folks, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. So a couple of weeks ago, we did a video on the Intel E5-2670 8-core chip. You can find these processors at a crazy ridiculous deal on eBay and other places. And uh, as we mentioned in the video, we want to make an ultimate uh, budget gaming slash productivity machine based around this processor since the performance is so good for the price. So we found ourselves an X79 motherboard from Asus and also a two RX 480s and we're going to put them in Crossfire to make a sub $900 slash mid $800 uh, gaming PC that is going to be capable for lots of different applications including ultra high definition gaming, uh, potentially VR obviously, and a whole bunch of other things. So let's put this system through its paces and see what it's capable of. <music> And one of the key aspects of this PC that makes it so compelling from a price perspective is the fact that we're using the E5-2670 chip. As we mentioned before, uh, these uh, processors are a couple of years old now. They're discontinued, but it is a full-on 8-core CPU with 16 threads. It has a base frequency of about 2.6 GHz and a control about to 3.3 GHz. Not a lot of room for overclocking, uh, and you are going to need a CPU cooler and uh, probably one of the best coolers out there for the money especially if you're on a tight budget definitely has to be the cooler master hyper t4 which is an excellent cpu cooler that retails for way under the 30 dollar mark now with this combination our 60 dollar ebay processor scores well over 18,000 points on the geekbench 3 benchmark when it comes to multi-core performance the single core performance is uh, definitely a little bit poor at uh, just over 2400 points but uh, for most of the uh, modern uh, titles out there and a lot of different applications applications the more cores you have the faster your performance will be and uh, the single core performance although acceptable is uh, probably what you're losing most out of this processor now the motherboard that you're going to be using has to support the original lga 2011 socket and in the uh, gaming world uh, these uh, motherboards are generally a little bit expensive and sometimes overpriced i found an asus sabertooth x79 motherboard on the used market for 120 dollars which is uh, definitely awesome because we have full USB 3.0 support. We have support for up to 64 gigabytes of RAM with the eight uh, DIMM slots for DDR3 memory. And that's one thing to keep in mind. You are going to be saving quite a few bucks when going with DDR3 memory because there's plenty of stuff out there in the used market. I found a two 8 gig modules uh, clocked around 1600 uh, megahertz, giving me 16 gigabytes of RAM for uh, just under $25. Now, since I'm uh, going to be really conservative to keep the price down as low as possible, I have to go with mechanical hard drive. I found a 320 gigabyte 7200 RPM drive for just under $20. Moving on when it comes to the power supply we are going to need a decent amount of power since we are going to be running multiple GPUs so uh, probably one of the best deals out there is the EVGA bronze 80 plus certified 750 watt half modular PSU. We've used this PSU on a bunch of different builds throughout the year and it's an excellent PSU for around the $50 to $55 mark now when it comes to cases you can obviously go for as cheap as possible anything that really supports a full-size atx motherboard i want to go with something a decent and uh, something that's going to last me for a long time so an excellent modular style case definitely has to be the cooler master master box we did a full review on this case so definitely check out that review if you haven't already you'll find that in the description down below this is a very very customizable it has plenty of different options for a different ssd mountings hardware cage placement comes with a nice psu shroud and cable management is really easy and simple and straightforward pretty much anything that you're going to put in this case you're going to make a decent looking system and just under 70 dollars i think it's fairly good value it should make our build look pretty darn cool with the graphics cards that we're going to be using which is two his rx 480s now obviously with the rx 480s as a standalone graphics card it's a fantastic value you can get the four gigabyte version for uh, just under $200 and if you want the 8 gigabyte version like what we have they typically go for just under $240 so that means having two of them we're spending about $480 for our graphics card which is definitely uh, quite a bit when you consider that we only spent $60 on our processor but what uh, a dual crossfire configuration with two RX 40 is going to enable us to do is play games at ultra high definition resolutions at uh, relatively high 
playable frame rates with your details close to max settings. It's almost as good as a single GTX at 1080. If you haven't checked out our video, we actually did a comparison between the two. And in most regards, it is going to be faster than a, a GTX 1070 with the only exception of uh, some VR titles and some games are not optimized for crossfire configuration. So that's a caveat to having a multiple GPU setup in a lot of circumstances is not going to be as simple and straightforward as uh, having a single GPU, especially for some games and uh, different VR applications that don't fully utilize the power of a multi GPU setup. So with that in mind, if we add up all the different components, our system comes to about $855. So uh, well under the $900 mark, which is awesome, awesome value. Now, of course, if you guys want to build and replicate this system for yourself, the pricing will definitely fluctuate since we're buying a lot of different parts in the used market. So uh, just get the best possible deal that you can find and be patient. Most likely things will come up and you'll find an excellent deal for uh, the parts that you want and the parts that you require. But in terms of the overall gaming performance, looking at the 3D Mark Firestrike benchmark, we get an overall score of just over 18,000 points. The graphical score is just over 26,000. The physics score, which also encompasses our CPU into the mix is just under 14,000 and then we got a combined score of about 7,000. Now with that in mind, let's actually take a look at some real world gaming benchmark results. So that way you can determine whether this system is going to be worth it for you. But really on that guys, that's really, as you can see, the performance uh, for the price range is absolutely insane. Now there are a couple of different options that you guys can go with. Uh, obviously, if you wanna save a little bit more money, uh, go with a single RX 480. It's a fantastic standalone graphics card for even quad HD gaming. And especially if you're gonna do 1080p gaming, it's uh, pretty darn remarkable for the price range right now. And uh, if you wanna go a little bit higher road, you can definitely go for a GTX uh, 1080 or uh, 1070. Uh, 1070 is definitely a good alternative option for around the same price range of what this PC uh, we just built uh, kind of goes for because one, you're probably going to get better uh, games optimized for a single graphics card than a multi GPU setup, generally speaking. So that's always a more simple and straightforward option, but obviously you are going to get much more graphical horsepower with the 2RX480 uh, configuration that we have in this PC. But really, I other than that, guys, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Check out the links for detailed information about everything we talked about. And other than that, thanks again for your support. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Take care.